Hi everybody, I hope, to, I hope that the sound's alright, I've just gone into the red so it must be alright. Um, welcome to the daytime live, yep, yep, I know Bank Holiday Monday guys, um, for you it's been to Expo, I hope you had an absolutely fantastic time. So a few and lows, we just got uh, Saint in the room so that's going to be fun. we got Smurf, we got Michelle, we got Lee, we got Mark, we've got the Bobster, uh, and that's all I know of who's in at the moment, because I can't tell on the screen how many people are in. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh and bill richards of course sorry bill i forgot you then slap this whoop, whoop, whoop. yep um oh guys uh expo weekend of course and you got some of you guys have been there and had a, a wonderful time antoinette hello darling hope you're well over there in the states um oh you had an absolutely fantastic time at, at expo i wasn't jealous i wasn't jealous <laughs> <laughs> yes we definitely was jealous i think um but yeah you know what can i say you know it looked like from what i've seen most people had a, a real good time but then we had that absolute knob who decided to pinch a couple of things with his name all over his t-shirt didn't we uh big spoiler big spoiler for the industry don't know how you guys feel about that and then uh lee i'm not too bad i'm feeling a bit iffy this morning um i've got a massive histamine build up um that makes me very tired and i'm one of those very very strange and very few people who is actually allergic to antihistamine and it can kill me so i can't have it so i have to deal with with the histamine build up and the tiredness and everything else that comes with it <coughs> i'm one of i think three in the uk <coughs> <coughs> Uh, Lee, Lee the Geordie Vapors in the house of course yeah guys what do you think what a what a knob eh nicking things from the bloody stall oh man with your name on as well and everything else as if you don't get enough free shit um, that, what a fool I, all I can say is the guy was a fool complete and utter fool um, I believe he's closed his facebook page down and what have you and lost loads of sponsors but why do it in the first place you know why there's no need for it tbd how we doing mate uh everybody's everybody's saying how lovely it is to meet each other me, me and the bobster will get there one day we are trying to plan on getting there next year uh next may uh Oh, Mark, some, some idiot, it's all over Facebook, some idiot who has a, a group and, and what have you had, um, nicked a couple of items, but he had, he had his Facebook group and everything on his shirt. And, uh, of course, the guys on the uh, store where he nicked it from uh, messaged him, you know, I'll bring him back the next day, I'll pay for him. Um, Lynn, how are you doing, mate? Um yeah, what an idiot, what a spoiler for the show and somebody who's actually in the industry to do that. What a knob. I mean, we expect some fevery, don't we? We expect some pickpockets and stuff at any type of event, no matter what type of event it is. Um, but for one in the industry to, to do it, what a fucking idiot. You know, really, really, real bad mark. It's, it's bad enough. I've seen another video as well where there was almost a fight going off. Um, and I think that, you know, that's, that's just as bad, isn't it, really? If people are wanting a fight in the middle of the bloody expo. <laughs> anyway, guys, I better tell you what I'm vaping on, haven't I? Um, I've got the gate on top of the uh, old Zealous as normal. Me my tobacco in. My all day vape, of course. Um... I've got the Kylin V2, the disappearing tank, you know, the magic one. Ooh, a bit one, one of these for you, Mark, here. This is a magic one. It disappeared for three months. <laughs> ABC, Kieran, how are you doing, mate? Um, and I've got some of the uh, banana cheesecake from the uh, King's Collection, the custard, uh, the King, King's Custard. That's banging. I've got the ISO B tank, which I think I'll get a review out for this this week. I've had it a week now when it's only a single coil in it, you know what I mean? Uh, Plex 3D coil in there. Absolutely fantastic coil. It really is. Flavour's banging on it. 
puts all your other ice ice sub tanks to shame really doesn't it <laughs> the round wire ones I've got the usual I've got the uh, recurve squad car with the dead goat on top um, with some uh, green slushy in there lethal mate how are you doing and other than that all I've got is the uh, drop solo that uh, Lee McLaughlin sent me because he's very kind that way and he looks after us on the H24 and in that what we've got in this I can't remember what we've got in this I think it's I've got coffee in it I've got one of the coffees in it it's about somewhere very nice uh, right, so guys, so we got we got a few in anyway. I can't see how many we got in. We got about eighteen in because my screen's about that big <laughs> to be able to see. Uh, and of course, I haven't got glasses on, so I can't see Carl. <laughs> so guys, going back to the expo and uh, and the incident that happened with the uh, the light fingered chappy, shall we say? Um, we we don't expect it from from them who who are. Uh, you know within the industry and they've got groups and stuff like that do we uh, as well as all the sponsors he has um it's, it's just not on is it it's just one of them things that absolutely ridiculous uh he will be drummed out of the uh out of the vape community i should expect after his stupidity but i just don't see the point if he if he's got a group and he's got sponsors he's obviously getting stuff in anyway so I don't see the point, and I forgot, guys. I'm on this as well, the Nord, um, with that uh, Boulevard salt making that makes me cough. But I love this, I love that Boulevard. I really do. It's absolutely gorgeous. But I'm going to get the free base version, I think. <laughs> uh, put your glasses on, Kieran. Don't come in here and start picking on me. You know I'm a vain bastard, and I won't put my glasses on. <laughs> That's all the insult, Dave. You can't see. <laughs> I can. I can. I've got the text about that big on screen. <laughs> and that's why the other screen's only that big. <laughs> uh, it's not only the way. Got. See, so can leap. And I'm getting paid for it. All right. That, that's all right then. Um, yeah, so you guys, what, what do you think about idiots? that are light fingered I know we've all got to watch our gear you know any sort of uh, expo or any convention or anything like that because there's so many people who's just there just to take things off people isn't there so guys what, what are your thoughts on it you know is he just a, a scumbag or was it as he said uh, a, a moment of, of madness you know how many people have said that when they've killed somebody though it just was a moment of madness and you know it's that's fucking disgusting isn't it really you know it's oh it's so annoying that that actually happened and he, <laughs> he didn't even have the sense to not have his group on his t-shirt and everything else <laughs> but he shouldn't have done it in the first place just pure greed Matt you know what you're right it is it's just pure greed and uh, I'm sorry I've no I've no sympathy for anybody who gets caught T to me he should have been prosecuted anyway um, you know pe people they work hard for the things they've got and then there's always somebody who wants to take it away isn't there there's always somebody who wants what you've got you know, a good example. Um, my brother one one uh, one time come. Uh, well, one Christmas was coming back from somewhere, and and the girl he was with and the kids were, were was out, and he uh, he seen seen through the kitchen window two guys. Um, in robbing the place, so he we went next door and got a baseball bat, and his mate, and guess who got done? <laughs> uh, right. He probably went there 
looking looking for free shit. Yeah, but Smurf, there's plenty of free shit, isn't there, without being light fingered. You know, there's plenty of gear given out. It's there's just no need for it, was there? Uh, any in the community who probably does it? It's fair game. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know you start. Say I'm lost on that one. Are you talking to someone else? Should come off his dick. <laughs> Uh, oh right, you're talking to Dave, are you? Right, right, I got a bit lost then in chat. I uh, do not know who it was or what even happened, but sounds like a tool to me. Uh, Kieran, it's a, it's a guy in the industry and he's, he's got a, a group and he had several sponsors, several sponsors, and he decided to get light fingered at one of the stores and took two units. Uh, but he had his name all over him. Hi, Mark. Had his name all over him, of course. Uh, so they knew it was. So they actually messaged him to bring him back. Um, I, I pay for them basically. I pay for the both units. Uh, to me, he should have still been prosecuted. Uh, but why? That's that. I just don't understand why he did that. If he must have had loads of free shit anyway, if he'd been there and been around all the stores and he had all these sponsors. So why do it? Just doesn't make sense, you know, and they'd be drummed out of the community anyway. Um, right, a few conversations going on. There's always somebody who wants to take something away from you, isn't there? Whether it's from your home or a business or from within your pocket, even. Um, there's always somebody who has. To do that sort of thing and as i said the, the other thing i seen was a, a video that went up that um there was almost a fight in there what are people fighting about you know in an expo it's, it's ridiculous drama breeds drama Yeah, I do it plain and simple, yeah. Uh, Saying this, this, this Monday show is all about controversy within the vape community, and that is controversial. Why do it? Right, everybody's letting on to everybody. Okay, Bill, see you later, mate. Take care. Um, so, the guys who, who've had been obviously had a, a real good time, and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, absolutely amazing. I will get there one time. It looked like it was a, a good, uh, a good show, a good exhibition. Uh, I've seen a couple of uh, things. I've seen um, MF Apes montage uh, and GBV's uh, expo tour. So, what have we got? I'm trying to read chat, guys, so if I'm a bit silent, and I'm not quite with it today, as I said. Uh, part of the course, there was a fight last year, too. Bloody hell. Guys, what's happening? Oh, Daniel, mate. Well, CBD, you have said That's a few. When there's so many people in one place the fight is going to happen um yeah but i don't see the need for it in the middle of an expo though do you <laughs> mind you did, didn't some of the uh didn't want one manufacturer start fighting with another lot of manufacturers last year <laughs> yeah it's not, the, not what you want to see though is it you don't want to see people almost fighting or fighting and arguing about 
shit that from outside of the expo, which is what I gather it was, something that's been going on for a while. Some business done, as normal. Um, I think Chris got some of his stuff sorted that he wanted to do business-wise. <coughs> and I'm, I'm looking forward to all the uh, the expo videos coming out so I can have a look down. But as, uh, as we said earlier, it did look like there was a lot of space. Sorry guys, I got distracted by my phone. <laughs> Just like my mother, wouldn't it, to ring in the middle of a of a show. <laughs> now, anyway, guys, so what, what's been happening with you guys and that besides Expo? Um, any of you guys, you know, been out buying, purchasing gear and what have you, for those that haven't been to Expo and got gear? Uh, I think the Expo venue uh going... You massively shrinking size. Do you really think that, Mark? Um, do you think that their heyday in the UK has uh, has passed? Yeah, someone's given stuff to review and others just expected it, right? There was full vendors. It's just rude and not willing to sell stock to reviewers, right? rude as well eh all right <laughs> was the dave was these um smaller companies or larger companies it was rude yeah no dave i didn't order much yeah oh yeah Lee. okay i'll believe you i uh, know i was busy what's that pain day's gone right bam 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 the uh the chat shot up then uh, I didn't make it expo unfortunately noticed the numbers were down on previous years uh, yeah but I haven't seen uh, much I've only seen two things on it yet but uh, it looked like there was a lot of open space uh, as I said earlier we will now stock entire EVC range and a what's that, fab CBD concentrate right right so get out and check out uh, the Sussex Vape Shop Online .co.uk for what's coming up on their page. Uh, yeah, definitely so much waste space and not many people turning up. You know that's really really unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, it really is. Uh, not selling to reviewers uh, can make you think what's wrong with the stuff <laughs> that I, you know what gear then you could be right there as well couldn't you <laughs> uh, price wasn't cheap like you would expect uh, take the kelp it was nearly £10 more than what nature vape is selling it for oh my god <laughs> uh, I it was VP advocates Mark Umier and a few Small ones, so right. So there's a few bigger ones and a few small ones. I wonder what's going on then. There's got a. There's got to be something going on if they, you know, they're being rude to people and, and not passing their the gear on or willing to sell it. That's a strange one. I know. Uh, recently, a, a lot of bumped up. Um, the numbers of subscribers you have to have before they actually send you anything out. I know there's quite a few done that. Uh, up in the all of a Expo is going to be better. Uh, yeah, yeah, because Caden's off across the water to the uh, all of vape soon. Lucky bugger. And. Uh, We'll need we'll need a, a proper uh, full vlog of that one, Kieran. Right, that bright conversation go on. Yeah, so um, so guys, as Mark brought up, do you think the a day of the expo in the UK has sort of passed? Then, do you think it's on a decline? Uh, 
took care and put it in. I can't remember. It's, it's on on the con on the consonant. It's take care and I'll put it in in a minute. Going seeing family, yeah, yeah. He's going seeing family as well, so he's going S the uh, expo as well. Fagan's RT, RTA. They would only sell to selective reviewers. Bloody hell! That's a that's a bloody strange one. Just say you have to take your dog to the vet. What? What? Yeah, but. Um, Just say you have to take your dog to the vet. Really? Would say washing your hair. You don't have much. That must be a part of a private conversation. I've no idea what's going on in that one. Uh, I can understand vendors not wanting to sell uh, on Friday, but no excuse for other days. No point going to Expo if you don't uh, want to sell your stuff yeah uh bunny but you know expos when i work, worked in the it industry expos they didn't sell you anything it was just an expo uh the they sort of showcase their new technologies um so I, I don't know whether it's we expect now to be able to purchase stuff at expos um because it's happened in the vape industry so often before or, or whether you know it's actually turning back to what an expo used to be uh, and which is just showcasing like new items and new technology ones that I went to um, but I, I can't understand that part of only selling to certain reviewers and not to others is that down to subs subscriber counts um, as I said the, the, the minimum uh, numbers now seem to have risen by all companies. I mean, one juice company said uh, said to me, if I if I had two thousand subscribers, they'd send me juice, poor juice. You know, I'd do them the favour. <laughs> it was like all weekend. It was it was quite quiet and and slow all weekend and and not selling. Bloody hell. Uh, I don't know, but jam apparently wasn't great. And the vape show was a flop. The next ball wasn't as busy. Hope it's not a sign that of it all going down. <coughs> well, it it might be. It might be. Or is it? Because it seems to be more and more shows coming coming on uh, a year. Is it that there's too many shows now and people are not uh, not uh, bothered about it? sub counts shouldn't matter they, they they shouldn't bunny but they do to companies that that's been the point all along uh if the reviewer is willing to pay yeah I, I totally agree but uh i think some companies now think they're they're bigger than they are um it, it happened a lot in the in the it industry um companies i used to i used to deal with a lot uh, i'm going back many years now um suddenly bec when they become pretty popular no longer wanted to talk to smaller companies uh because you didn't buy enough enough stuff from them they wanted you to go through their their other vendors um and i think i think that's sort of what what's happening with with the vape industry um the driver you go to the wholesalers they supply to the wholesalers and, and you go there um, some companies just think the bigger than they are and more important than they are uh, here's 10 subs what was that uh, yeah 10 subs or 10 million subs yeah, yeah but they, they look at that they look at the sub count because they think of the, the, your audience uh, how many people it gets to but having said that um my my biggest viewed items are viewed by non-subscribers um a lot of the vape 88 stuff i've done that, that's got thousands of views are, are viewed from non-subscribers 
I mean, my, my view count says it all for, for the number of, of subscribers I've got. I've got now over 127,000 views. Um, and uh, what we've we got, 850 subscribers now. But most a lot of the a lot of the um, of the reviews that are up that have big numbers have been viewed by uh, non-subscribers people. But I street stuff gets lots and lots of hits because people could just buy it in the shop. <sighs> it doesn't matter if you are a customer. Then what does it matter? I don't ask for. A review sample I wanted to buy one as a vapor yeah but it shouldn't, it shouldn't matter anyway it it depends on what their policy is when they went of, of what they was going to do when they was going to sell or if they was going to sell as I say uh, expos used to be just a place where where you went and looked at the technology and the new things um, nothing was basically done uh, over the counter you, you had a business to business um, where he sorted that business out that day, but nothing was actually handed over to you over the over the counter, um, and I'm wondering whether they're trying to make it go that way a bit, like it used to be. If I'm going to pay for the stuff, then in effect they are just another customer in mind. Yeah, yeah, they are. They, they are just another customer. If you want to buy something, uh, JP Vape, how are you doing? Uh, if you want to buy something, they should be well, willing to sell it to everybody, not just to certain uh, certain reviewers, if that's the case that happened. <coughs> and that's disgusting. Now, are you selling it or are you not selling it? It's one or the other, isn't it? Um, it seems a very strange policy if they've come with that one, doesn't it? That they can only sell to certain people. End of day. <coughs> they're only damaging their own reputation by doing that aren't they oh let me just finish my cold coffee guys and it was cold and I've got a doggy here now as well um, yeah, they're only ruining their own reputation by doing things like that, don't they? It's that's just a silly move on the part of the company, and it it goes back down to do these companies think they're bigger and more important than they are? The when they just couldn't give a shit, they had the stock but wouldn't sell them. Same as Boo Poo. Uh, all the post stuff got held. Is that held at customs, uh, Mark? <laughs> Dove post stuff got held at customs. Oh my god. Your money is just as good as anybody else. It's very, very, very true. So, uh, as I say, all they're doing by doing things like that is just damaging their own reputation, aren't they? Uh didn't have that issue I think most have forgotten me as a reviewer right <laughs> yeah but you're doing a you're doing a lot of business as well weren't you Michelle and um, you were starting about business Mark Nature Vape you was there you had a did you have a good time any more connections and stuff it's me, me, and, me and Bobster's probably going to get there when it goes completely downhill, aren't we? <laughs> uh, no one has forgotten you. Right. I mean, the, I, I'm not a clue whether the Manchester one's on this year or not. Because I'm not getting any, I'm not getting any emails back whenever I ask. And I've seen nothing advertised. Was last year just going to be a one-off? It's supposed to be happening this year, but... Nothing advertised up to now. You only plans to make a come back, Michelle. Need to fly the flag for the ladies, babe. <laughs> uh, no chance, Michelle. 
Ah, to forget one. <laughs> uh, uh, no review samples given to me, so I must be a crap reviewer. Ah, uh, no, no, no! Don't, don't you try and pinch my hashtag, Mark Nature Vape. My hashtag, hashtag shite reviewer. You can't have that one. I've claimed that one. Great minds, blah 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 blah. Right, um, yeah. It's I don't know. Has it been a, a real strange one this year for you guys who actually went to Expo? Has it? Has the experience been any different than than in the past? Uh, I don't know whether Bunny's had a, a, a chance to speak to Gail yet about uh, about being at Expo. Uh, whether, whether Gail had any opinions on whether it, you know, it was slightly different or not. They are, Mark. You've just got another another subscriber and to a next us to subscribe to you. And Mark, I've still got this in front of me. I've not packed it up yet or anything else. So, so especially as your business. <laughs> Kieran, no need for that old git review. I'm not the oldest reviewer, am I? So, I just look the oldest reviewer at the moment. I uh, had a meeting with company who didn't have a stand, which was well worthwhile. Cool. So, there's something in the pipeline there coming, is it, Mark? No, not had a chance to speak to Gail since she got back home. Yeah, well, Gail will tell you, won't she, uh, Bunny? Well, I mean, we've we've seen a few pictures and what have you. You probably seen more than I have. Uh, but Gail was there, won't she? So she'll tell you whether there was a, a difference in sort of attitudes and what have you towards people. Um, which I think will be hard. Here we see that. That's my hashtag, not yours. No, no kidding. That's my hashtag. Uh, and I still haven't forget forgot it was you. It said. Um, I created the Big Bang with a faulty mech. <laughs> uh, enjoying the Kelper. Uh, JP, have you seen mine? I, I've got a light bending one. There, there's my Kelper. That's my Kelper. I've got the light bending one. You can't, can't see it. It's very hard to find when you put it down. You have to knock about for it a bit. <laughs> uh, was Nameless Mods at Expo? That's a good question, Mark. Mostly. Uh, it's, it's not going to be you know, It's people expecting me to review again, right? Right. Being gone so long. Uh, you're welcome, Nature Bay. Um, what's coiled for? Right. You know how long you Yeah, I don't think it makes a difference how long you've you've been gone. Um once you put one up and you get back into the swing. Yeah, Antoinette's missing you. Uh I bought both What's that? I bought both black came first. Right, you, you purchased both of them and they come. Did you like my light bending one though, JP? <laughs> I thought Mr. Salford, your Kelpie is the same as mine. <laughs> one of them magic invisible ones. Yeah, it's that light bending technology, Bunny. It, it's so good you can't see it. The only problem is when you put it down, you can't find it. <laughs> the only thing it was about was the box and you could only see the edge of that. <laughs> and the sticker on that had Kelpie. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 uh, roughly 700 subs yeah yeah uh, Lynn the Smod's Colt was there at Expo yes there was right there you go uh, as well you find people come back to watch yeah you, you will you will Vaping Dragon Steve how are you doing mate uh, I'll have to get one. <laughs> She's had to make a, make the collection, JP. 
You, you got the black, the silver, and now you want the light bending one. <laughs> oh dear. I need some nicotine it. Just one minute. Ah, oh, guys, I'm really sorry. I've got histamine build up. And uh, it's, I've now got a runny nose with it. <laughs> Uh, talk about uh, light up things. I got myself the Vapors Glow Stick, also known as the uh, Fush and not one bit embarrassed. Is that a Fush? That's a Fush. That's a Fush. I don't do what you want if others have issues and they can go floof themselves. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know, why, why should people have any sort of issue about anything? If you're a comeback reviewing me, you come back. You know, it's your channel, end of the day, you know. Um, you do whatever you want. I mean, well, I do whatever I want, don't I? You know, I put some old shite out there. I've got stuff that I've had for six months I've still not reviewed. Stuff I'm not certain I want to review. Uh, I don't have any of the latest gear. I still put things out there. You do whatever you want to do. And uh, as now you've got the business as well, you know, go for it. Put some stuff out. Get on there. Get them reviewed. Especially some of the new stuff. Uh, Magic Bapes, hello. And thank you very much for subscribing. Magic Bapes subscribed to me earlier, I think. Yeah, so you still got seven or four subs there, you know. So I mean, you consider you've not really lost that that many, have you? And they'll soon come back. Uh, I've not had any issues with, and I'm not stopped using it since Saturday. It's time would sell, right? Obviously, I missed something. Uh, I like the look of them, right? Yeah, you're on about that unit. Uh, what's Bob's to put? I like the look of the flush actually. I love I I love the gadgets. You will love everything a bobster. You smoother your old smoother. Right bleeding full of ears. It looks awesome, blah blah blah. Um and that's the mesh one, isn't it? So yeah, I'm not, to tell you the truth, I'm not loving the mesh that you put in yourself, but, you know, stock car mesh, I've no problem with. Ian Morgan, how are you doing, mate? Um, I'm, re I'm really not a lover of, of, of mesh tanks that you build yourself. Uh, I just don't like them. Maybe it's me, uh, maybe the way I've, I've done it in the past, I've had, had a go at one, I've not actually got one, I had a go at one, and all I did was burn the cotton. Uh, I love you, Dave, too. I know you do, Bob. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I, I don't know. Anybody got the Kylie Nem in chat? Wants to give their opinion of it, if they have it? I just certainly haven't got it. I certainly won't be getting it. <laughs> well, we're on 17 minutes past all of Uh, so guys, anybody, anybody got any thoughts on the Kylie Nem? I hate mesh. I hate mesh that you cut yourself. <laughs> mesh always reminds me of the old days when it was used as a, a wicking material. <laughs> oh my god. Um, JP, it doesn't look like anybody's coming back with any sort of answers about it. <laughs> I, I think that says it all, doesn't it? I don't think anybody's got sort of any opinion. Uh, have you got it, JP? Have you got the Kylie Nem yourself? Have we got anything in the Bonza? Oh, yes, I have. Let's have a two on the Bonza.
Oh yeah, that'll do. Heisen, Heisenberg. Uh, only that rip off of the rip off the profile. Other than that, no, not tried it. Uh, uh, well, Saints come back with something anyway. Get yeah, some juice in that. Could I say? You know what? Tanks and and all a bit like cars, are, aren't they? Everything seems to be the same. Something just a little bit different in design, but generally the same on the inside. <laughs> you know, there, there seems to be um, little individualism in them anymore. Oh, that's better, some Eisenberg. No, but I made it some. Yeah, it's not going to review it. Oh, that's cool. One final unit say right? So, so basically, it is a rip-off then, is it? See, what what we've got to remember about Van der Vape is that... Um, they're very good at taking somebody else's idea now, aren't they? When, when they come, come out, when the guy split from Geekwave, I think it was, uh, and they first started making the tanks, was very good, but they've done so many things now of copying things, like they put that little coil build uh, tool in, <coughs> you know, which was a rip-off of, uh, of my co-host, Mr. Coily's uh, coily. Um, this thing for cleaning mechs, uh, they ripped that off, didn't they, from um, mod makers. Just a few bits and pieces. So, and as I also think they all talk amongst themselves because everybody seems to have friends at different companies and I'm sure they, they just leak things about and everybody builds the same bloody thing. The off, we know what it's called now, it's called the off after uh, GBV did an interview. So it's a bit like somebody from, uh, let's say, uh, Somerset going, fuck off. <laughs> uh, thumbs up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, not even a little adjustment. It's just a straight copy. Is it, Lee? You know what? I've, I've not even looked at it because I've, I've no interest in um, building mesh coils. I don't like them. I've got the lit here. I don't think I ever put the, the review up for it. I did the... Was it the lit? I think it was a lit. I'm sure I didn't put the review up for it For it in the end. Um, I know I had a problem with the insulators. <coughs> yeah, guys, if you haven't hit the thumbs up, it does help. It does help. Um, does help the channel, of course. But yeah, so it, it, <laughs> I'm trying to think of others that was that was pretty much you know the same. There's a lot in there. There's a lot, a lot that are the same. There's a lot of this now. Um, the sort of airflow that comes around the coil on the single, coil, single coils and stuff and you know the first one I ever seen that on was the Shenray Art Elite uh, which I always bang on about um, and I see there's quite a lot doing that sort of thing now uh, what have we got I did another thank you sorry, Lord. Uh, Falcon Miss Pro best stock coil tanks I have yeah Bunny Bunny the, uh, Mesh stock coil though. Have you, have you ever heard of anybody making a real bad one? Because I haven't. Uh, everything that I've had that's had stock coil meshing has been really good. It's like they uh, sort of nailed it in China f from day one, didn't they, really? Uh, seen a few of you say smock mesh are not up to scratch well you know <laughs> i expect that i expect that from this one once <laughs> which is you know they, they're supposed to change the coil maker a long time ago now and it's still getting bad reports uh you know uh smart mesh uh good 
for flavour but don't last as long as Falcon. Not tried the Cleto mesh yet. Yeah, but that, that's the problem with smart coils, isn't it? The, um, they don't last as long as other coils or, or they're dead on arrival. And I think that's a bad reputation. Now, they're supposed to have moved over to a different manufacturer for their coils and they're still getting bad uh, reports. Uh, yeah, I think for stock coil mesh is definitely the way forward. I do myself... Um, as I say, the, the Inican uh, Plex 3D, that's really, that really surprised me in the ISO B tank. Uh, Flavour-wise, uh, it's bang on. You know, I can't, I can't fault it. Um, and it's got, it's got that sort of uh, I sub V uh, cut off for the juice flow as well, which I quite like. <laughs> You get about four weeks out of the falcon coil. Uh, about oh, max out of the smart ones. Well, there's a massive difference in there between a month and, and a week, isn't there? Um, it's strange. I've never had an issue with any smart coil. Have you not? Oh, I have. I've had dead on arrivals and all sorts. Absolute crap. I always buy if I. If I have um, a smock tank, I always buy the RBA for it and uh, and build me all. Right, uh, it's strange. I've never uh, right yet. Yeah. I haven't tried a stock coil tank in ages. You know, saying I was like that myself. That's why I bought the uh, the ISO B uh, in for review because I was thinking the only the only stock coilers I've had is in a few kits just like, like the Captain Tank and uh, the Katana Tank and I thought I need to go and get at least one stock coiler because everything I actually get in is rebuildable these days um, even though I try and get something in for uh, you know somebody making the switch a starter kit basically each month I've not really thought about stock coil tanks anymore He's very lucky, bunny. Isn't he? <laughs> uh, I love my falcon. Yeah, uh, never use stock coils other than the Nautilus mouth to lung. Yeah, uh, I don't think many of us as hobbyists tend to use a lot of stock coil tanks these days. But I must admit, with the new mesh coils, I've, I'm I'm leaning towards buying more in for review and stuff. Guys, we're over, and um, it's that time already. That seems to have gone quick today. Um, and yeah, we've had a bit of a discussion, haven't we? <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to call it. So, thank you very much for coming in and joining me today. Uh, very good here this, on this bank holiday Monday. Uh, I don't think we had bad numbers in actually. I think I got I got more in or as many in as I do on a Friday night. So so that's me please for the start. Guys, without you I can't do a Monday anyway. Um so thank you very much and I'm going to say enjoy the rest of your day. You know, for them who've been at Expo, chill out today, get sorted and don't think about tomorrow. So guys, gonna love you and leave you. Thank you very much. See you on the next one. Bye for now.